for security. Let's go to the shall we? We just need to find our way to the city centre. We don't know if we're Ubering it or if we're going to get a bus, so let's go, shall we? Hello guys and welcome to Dublin. So I'm here with my friends Nicole and Rachel and we are here for two nights. This is actually my first time that I have ever been to Dublin so we're very excited and the first part of call is we're going to head straight out and we're going to get a Guinness obviously because you have to do that when you're in Highland. I haven't had a Guinness for the longest time so anyway I'm going to take you on a two-day trip around Dublin. We've got the Guinness factory booked for tomorrow. Pretty excited and we also want to hit off like most of the the touristy areas like the temple bar we're literally dumping our bags we're heading straight out freshening up and we are going to just browse dublin city center find some cool irish pubs get some food and have a good night so let's go shall we
just walked to the camera at all, to be honest, Rachel. <laughs> We're going down the street here. I think, oh, these look like really cool streets. We're going to try and find the Temple Bar because that is like oh the famous oh. bar of Dublin. I feel like it's that way. I'm sorry, but look how cool these streets look with the cobblestones and everything and all the pubs. It's so cool and just over here we've got the porterhouse but we are trying to find the temple bar you're right there rich <laughs> this morning we're not gonna lie but what an epic night things I absolutely loved about last night was they were playing the Irish folk music and I'm sorry but is there any better music to actually dance to like also the temple bar was definitely our one of our favorite spots that we went to right now we are heading to the Guinness factory so we're gonna go to the Guinness factory and truth be told I didn't really like the Guinness it's not my favorite these two liked it though didn't you Rich? Yeah. Didn't you Nicole? You liked it the most in yeah, the it's actually really good. Yeah. So we are now going to the Guinness factory. I'll probably get a soft drink. And uh, then we're going to go for a nice meal tonight. But first off, we need coffee. Let's go, shall we? Guys, on a scale of one to hungover, how hungover are you? Ten. <laughs> what about you, Rich? A three, that's not bad. Also, Nicole lent me a coat because mine is so stained. Thanks, Nicole. Yeah. Good friend card. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of cute. I need to get me one of these. Oh, oh, Mimos. Oh, what is that?
is drunk every day. Oh, is it made? Not drunk. Holy smokes. So I got the Guinness onion soup. Whoa, look at that. It smells really rich. Look how dark that looks. And then also Guinness bread. This is like a almost rye bread. It smells amazing, but I had to try this while we're here. We've all got a salmon bagel, which looks really nice. And Rich got the Guinness uh, pot pie. Is it nice, Rich? Sausage roll. Oh, sausage roll. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sausage roll. <laughs> sausage roll. <laughs> sausage roll. <laughs> bread dipped in. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that is delicious. What the heck? I want to learn how to make that. I bet it's fairly easy. It's like French onion soup, but... And these pillars are designed for those little mini pints that you have. Oh. It's 75% nitrogen. Nitrogen is very unpleasant and it doesn't taste great. So when you are drinking Guinness, we do like you to open up your mouth a little bit more. You're going to take in a generous mouthful of Guinness. I want you to give me a three second hold on your palate. And I want you to swallow and exhale through your nose. Guinness is not your nose. Okay, so no. the type of stuff that I like looking at because it's all like the old merchandise for Guinness like all the old cults, all the old magazines, wow. Holy smokes, look at this Guinness can. So this floor we didn't even realise but it has a bunch of different bars and restaurants. We've got Arthur's Cafe and Bar, we've got a Gravity Bar upstairs. Oh, we just come to the top of the Gravity Bar and we have amazing views in Dublin. One. I think it'll go with like pink and wear it oversized. This is really big, I've got 2XL, but I like them oversized. Although this would also look good tight with jeans, like what I'm wearing today, but this is exclusive. It says that it's exclusive to uh, this storefront, so you can only get this here. So we've come into the shack and it's a traditional Irish pub restaurant. How nice it looks. And then just out the window is the side street for all the cobbles to the temple bar. Does the food look good, Nicole? It does I love, I love the menu too, it looks really nice. Look at the little candles. So I think I'm gonna get one of 
the traditional Irish dishes. I got Irish stew yesterday, I really want it again. It sounds amazing. I'm either going to get the stout casserole or I think the beef island. I love this pot. Got the beef stew. Looks amazing. We also got the bread. I love the cyber bread and then Irish churn butter. Look at that, it's like a tail cake. That's so cool. H&M. Look at that. We came in mainly to look at the architecture inside here. How cool. Look at the ceilings. Exhibition where it looks really cool inside. It's called the Book of Kells exhibition. We are still going to look at the prices because the inside is meant to be really, really cool. And we would like to see all the architecture inside this big building. There is 21.50 euro. So I think we're actually going to do it, but we're going to. The entrance is around the corner, and you do get access to another building here as well. And I kind of want to see the architecture inside. So let's go check it out, shall we? And you're in here get access to an audio guide from your email and you can go around and use your phone even if you have no headphones on you could just put it, your phone to your ear and listen to it and it's numbered so you just go around so I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this building, look at the 
the floor. Just passing it on the way at the pizza place. So I think we're gonna get dessert first, then pizza. We should have done it the other way around, but it's so cute in here. Flowers. It looks so good. Sour desserts come out. Look at that apple pie. Look how pretty it is. And then Rachel got this heart stuffer one, which looks just as good. How cute is this? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Love all these little tiny indie businesses. Wow, a little stationery shop here as well. How cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's also a cool Japanese stuff. A little stall as well, all Hello Kitty stuff. <gasps> so cute. They sell like big slices of pizza. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I got spicy pepperoni. Pizza. Whoa. Wouldn't have it without the garlic because it's, this is massive. Mmm. Crusty fish. Oh my god, that is good. What the heck? That, my friends, was one of the best pizzas I've actually ever had. And we've been to Joe's Pizza in New York. If you haven't watched those vlogs, definitely go check it out because that was such a fun travel trip. Anyway, now we are heading back to our hotel because we're going to be getting an Uber to the airport. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.